Start recording. Okay. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the React channel. Uh, if you are listening to this, you might notice that my voice sounds rather raspy, and I probably sound like I've smoked the end of a tailpipe. That would be because I'm currently hungover quite tremendously, and I thought what better way of trying to get over this hangover than to hang out with Twitch chat live and watch a bunch of videos that have come out in the last couple of days. Ha 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 ha! So, ah, uh, I need coffee inside of me. <laughs> And it just so happens that Russian Badger has heard my plight and knowing that I was hungover, they made a video specifically for me to feel better and to help distract me from my head achy, body achy, please end my suffering woes. So please in the comments and in the chat right now, can we all get a thank you, for, a, a thank you Russian Badger for your, your kind contribution to the Kari Mansion and my horrendous state of being. Please feel sorry for me. <laughs> All right, let's watch the video. Age is a game, or you try to we love the Russian Badger here. Touch the diffuser on breaking your fingers. Do not touch oh, the wait, diffuser. Oh, wait, it's a... <gasps> <laughs> yes! Rainbow Six Siege! I, I love this game. Fighting wow. Well, loved. Loved. I used to play Rainbow Six Siege prodigiously. Until I realized 90% of the players in are either five-year-old Swedish people with no sense of humor or hackers. It's a great game. I love myself some arcadey, friggin' uh, fast action, spinny shooters that make you feel like a badass. But oh boy, I do not have time to put up with the nonsense that this game is these days. But if Russian Badger can make this game look good and suffer for my entertainment, then we are here for it! Hell yeah! Track suit? I don't know. Oh, you look Wait, kind they of put Master though. Chief it's in this? That changed my entire life. I used to be in my rent with Sea. I used to travel the world for Sea. It was really just oh, Canada, but it I never knew that actually. International travel. I even got to dumpster. Lil Yacht, God, imagine being so masochistic that you play C. Rainbow Siege professionally. <laughs> Or Warframe professionally. Day, it was. In late 2020, I stopped playing altogether for Ow. reasons so secretive that even my AI Badger clone wouldn't tell you. Bro, you could while not have gotten that out of me with a gun and a jug yours. of gasoline. <laughs> that is until today. Now that Monster Beef is officially canon in the Rainbow Good Six Lord, universe, Master Chief. That's such a weird. Story. Wait, who is he? I mean the fight. Is oh, is he Sledge? Is he Sledge? Oh, that's so that's so fitting. It's. You know what wilds me out? Okay. I get really weirded out by having like these collaborations between very really outlandish games. It, like in you think of Fortnite, right? At least in Fortnite it makes kind of sense cuz that game's goofy as fuck. But you think of like Rainbow Six Siege and it's like this tactical espionage counter-terrorist thing and it's like really kind of I say real it's believably real in that sense. And then all of a sudden you got this motherfucker coming along in freaking power armor. <laughs> this is clearly not canonically accurate as Master Chief would be able to blow through everybody with ease due to his reinforced carbon plated armor and his power infused body with uh, uh, the chemically enhanced and en uh, bioengineering. I mean, let's face it, I'm not looking at this for realism here, are we? I mean, it, this would be like having Counter-Strike and then having uh, Rick and Morty going through the game trying to d defuse the bombs. Uh, yo, uh, Morty, Morty, we gotta go for a five-minute adventure in Counter-Strike. <laughs> Canon, you can't tell me otherwise. This is canon. To tell you why I left, to tell you why I'm back, and to tell you how impossible this game is nowadays until you figure out one single mechanic. I have autism. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you too, buddy. Yo, I love my isms. Don't we all just love our man. isms? Comparing what Rainbow was to what Rainbow is makes me feel mentally ill. We got Master Chief and we got some dude with a car battery. <laughs> <laughs> I want to start by giving away an absolutely stupid amount of money to my friends. Bands so fucking dumb they cause ah, yes, it, public school. So Russian to be Badger is currently going through the Mr. <laughs> Beast arc of gaming. This video wouldn't be the same without my homies screaming at each other. You acting all mad and I got you an Intero, you goofy bitch. So I'm giving away hundred thousand dollars to friends that appeared in videos this year. Goofy, <laughs> the one. Goofy I'm dead serious, is and I never to not an appropriate way to respond to someone. Sponsor this video. I know you're tired like, of me telling you to download Like chat, he's so goofy. You just gotta do it. Or, 
hey YouTube, you acting kind of goofy, my guys. I scammed Opera GX into sponsoring this video by respecking all my stats into charisma and convincing them I do a quality ad read. When really, I just wanted to give away a hundred grand to my homies. So if you don't download Opera GX, your Jordans are fake. It's the best browser ever made because it caters to my insect-like attention span. When I'm watching a boring ad YouTube video like this one and make the mistake of opening Twitter, Opera GX automatically minimizes the video to the lower right. That way I can get bullied on Twitter without missing out on... Okay, for real, but- <laughs> Oh, and the did it not break apart the on that dumbass video I didn't want to watch. Look at that. Opera GX is even nice enough to lie to me and say that I look stunning when Bing and Sydney think I get hit with the face poser tool. My only problem is, is that Opera GX's uh, ad block Opera doesn't GX really work. Using Opera GX while not using my Opera GX mod. Hit the mod tab. I know, I know ad block at the moment for anything is hard to work, but and kills the crap. If you don't like my YouTube, mod, YouTube, I don't want to watch your goddamn ads. Basically endless. Import all your settings from Just let me listen to my music and even your extensions still work, like this one that lets me save any image in any format. Download Opera GX using my link below so I can give a hundred grand to my homies and satisfy the Opera GX Yo God, guys, you should subscribe to my neck. Twitch channel so I can give away nothing to my community to because I'm really greedy. I playing Rainbow Six Siege That's a joke, I love giving away progress. things to my community. If like you happen to be in pins. Canada, and my sanity. Make it the very best YouTube video that I can is my life's obsession. It occupies nearly all of my time and it's based- What he's saying here is objectively what every YouTuber who does gaming is about to say, which is Allow me to cover for the fact that I'm merely playing games and monetizing it for my own gain. Why, yes, I am just sat here behind a computer enjoying myself playing video games and allowing my endeavored enjoyment of something that I would have been doing anyway to become monetizable. Which in reality is kind of the best way of going about anything in life. If you if you enjoy something and you can monetize it, why the fuck not, right? <laughs> At least that's what I said about my sex life. <laughs> it's who I am. But the harsh truth that I've learned about these videos is that if I want my very best, I have to be uncomfortable. The more I struggle, I'm too the, for this. <laughs> the challenging, the I don't know what the fuck I'm doing feeling while making a video, the more my skills progress. And there came a point where Siege was none of those things. It was easy, it was comfortable, and there was no challenge in making a video, which is when I knew something had to change. I gotta stop taking Honestly, I can understand that kind of mentality to content creation. <laughs> Like I'm in, the, I'm always in the mindset that I want to make stuff that's game like to keep got the substance to it. The progress as it's why I stopped doing Warframe. Like Warframe content just difficulty. didn't feel creative to me anymore. And this oh video God. is no exception because oh man, I am the Russell Wilson of Rainbow Six Siege. I used to be very good at this thing, but I am no longer good at this thing. Let uh, Russ cook. Let, let Russ team. cook. Don't worry, he's gonna turn <laughs> it around. Because you know, guys, content creators are allowed to evolve. I'm just saying. Just because you found them for one thing, doesn't mean they're going to keep doing that thing all the time. When I, when I pulled away from Warframe, I did it because I wanted to be more creative and have freedom to be able to make what I want without being limited to a game. And I'll be real, some of the stuff I was making towards the end of my war time in Warframe was the equivalent to a how-to basic video. <laughs> Goes, let's ride. Coach literally told Russell Wilson to quote, shut the fuck up. Dude. <laughs> hey, that's like how I, I talk to my wrong. teammates in uh, Lethal, in lethal game, Company. I still know how to cheese an enemy team with a sled. Can you rush. stop using the radio? Black, shut so the I fuck up. Hold a watermelon and stuck my <laughs> <laughs> right. Why? God. Wait. Ops wanted yeah. some initiative. I want to play some Rainbow Six Ops now. Ops wanted oh, some shit. initiative. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. On the oh, entire quadrant. Jesus. Oh, yes, he's cracked. Yes, this is yes, an ace. Yes, Keep going. Gotta be an ace. Him. We're going to play it, and he's going to come for me, all right? Let's Jesus. fucking go! Let's fucking go! But those rounds were few and far between, and something felt a little bit off. Like I knew what I was doing, but I was still getting dumpstered by randoms, and I could not figure out why. At first, I thought it was the new Hackers? operators, because Hackers. I was hearing all kinds Hackers. of names and gadgets for the first time. Osa, Brava, Sans, Kledge. It felt like hearing a Zoomer-ass TikTok comment section out loud. What the fuck are you saying to me? Baby Gronk just rizzed up, Livy done. Mr. Riz Electric. <laughs> oh, Send this skibby <laughs> <laughs> oh send this yacht to the Skibidi oh dimension and have him oh Ohio. For the entire first day, I constantly found myself saying, I did not know that. I did not know that. I did not know that. I did not know an operator did that. I did not know a gadget did that. I did not know a map did that. I have never felt so dumb while playing a video game. And just when I thought I had hit rock bottom dumb, Heavenly told me that black people- You know what, this, this, oh, okay, we're gonna finish that sentence in a second. Uh, 
This is like any competitive game, right? And it's honestly one of the biggest dissuasions as to why I don't like... Because let's look at it this way, right? A really... The reason why a lot of us play competitive games is to be good at it, right? So we get good at it. We feel good about it. And then the second you... Yeah, I realized that was the most inappropriate time to pause the video. <laughs> um, but on, but my, point, my point, what I'm trying to get at here is that um, competitive games are one of the most... Uh, polarizing things to try and get to enjoy because you start and you're like okay i need to get good at this game so you put an unhealthy amount of hours into it to get good and then you're like hey i'm pretty good at this game now but no matter how good you are unless you're like one of the sweat lords that puts five thousand hours in to get to like the grand master levels there's always going to be people who dumps to you so eventually you get burnt out and you're like okay cool i've had my time i've i've improved and i've enjoyed it and when you no longer enjoy it you move on to something else but then later down the line, the sunk cost fallacy, which was the equivalent, with, for, and for the sake of uh, explaining, sunk cost fallacy basically means uh, you've dedicated so much time to something that you feel like you're invested into it so much that you feel bad for going away from it. It's why World of Warcraft has been so popular. Not because it's a good game, but people have spent so long in that game that whenever another MMO comes out, they're like, well, shit, I've already got 5,000 hours in World of Warcraft. Why would I start a new MMO? And it's kind of the same with competitive gaming. When you get good at a game, you then say to yourself, well, I've played some other games now. I think I'm going to go back to this other game I already have all this time in it. It helps influence your decision making for what it is you play. It's like it's almost like a psychological thing in some respects. And I am how I am making a psychological analysis whilst I'm hungover is beyond me. But apparently not even alcohol is enough to remove my ism from my brain because <laughs> I love my isms. Um, but then the issue comes with this is that you because you spent time away, you are still basing your expectation of your ability off of what you would like before you stopped playing. But when you come back, things have moved on, you're rusty, you're not as good as you used to be, and it's the worst sensation imaginable when, like, you go back and you realize you're not as good as you were, it's really demotivating, and then you have, you're no longer enjoying what you're doing because you're not playing up to the standard that you used to. It's honestly why, in my eyes, competitive gaming is great, but it's also its own biggest enemy. Like, I used to play StarCraft 2 competitively, and professionally for that matter. I, I was, as, as Russian Badger was to Rainbow Six, I was to StarCraft 2. And I've tried copious amounts of times going back to StarCraft 2 over the years. But every time I do, I hate myself because I can never live up to that expectation and the standard that I set my, for myself originally. I can still play and have fun, sure. But I always feel like I'm letting myself down and I can never, like, do it properly for, like, a competitive sense. Because I'm just not as good as I used to be. And I, I, I kind of understand what, uh, how Russian Badger feels in this sense, because I've gone through the exact same experience myself for a couple of different things. It's, it's, a, fun, it's a funky I idea with gaming, and it's something that I don't think a lot of people quite realize until they've experienced it themselves. Especially when you go from one game and then have... Like, especially if it's like your first time having a game you're that committed to, and then you find a new game, and then you come back to this old game, and you're like, oh my god, this feels terrible, no! Which is why... It's really important to make fun the priority. Competitive gaming, even at its core, should still be fun. If you are getting angry or upset, you shouldn't be playing a game. And it's why I find it hysterical when you get people who are like raging over losing. The only people who have the authentic reason to be angry at playing a video game are the people who earn money from it. If you are running into people who are wasting your time or causing you issues or causing you to get angry in a game, stop playing it. Because the only person you're, the only people you're going to ruin the fun for is yourself by getting angry. And then you're going to make other people's experience worse because you're bringing down the bar for everybody else. Anyway, back to talking about the black person. <laughs> sunburn, and it made me feel even dumber because yeah, sunburn and I had hit rock bottom dumb. Heavenly told me that black people can sunburn, and it made me feel even dumber, because yet again, I did not know that. I like the sun on my skin, so I don't end up looking like a vampire. Hold on, Heavenly, Dark. does the sun change your skin color? Yeah, I get darker in the sun. Really? Was Russian Badger inadvertently racist here? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, just because somebody has collagen in their skin doesn't mean that they have any less reason to friggin' tan. Like, dar darker colored skin is harder to tan, sure, and they're more resi resilient to sun, but that doesn't mean they're impervious to sunburn! They st- <laughs> You ignorant motherfucker. 
Damn. Yeah. I must be mm -hmm. mega racist because I didn't know that. <laughs> you know what? I mean, listen, you are a cisgendered <laughs> white male. Of course you're racist, we according to every, uh... Yeah, you know what? This is a mystery every southern that I was part just of America. never going to get the answer to. You know, like, do you have to refrigerate peanut butter? It's like, I'll never <laughs> yeah. know. I'll never know. There will never be a right answer. So I do not refrigerate ketchup. Though. You are allowed to shoot me if you don't like that. And even the operators I Wait, you did don't know refrigerate from ketchup? way back when were Wait, does all worked and different. Who refrigerates ketchup? Was a guy that, that sounds heinously cursed. Now he can put five bombs on a doorway. What? Turning him from a minor annoyance hiding in a closet into Oppenheimer, the destroyer of quadrants. If you come in this doorway, you are Adam. You are ash. What are you doing? Five on one. Hit him with the Oppenheimer <laughs> that's, special, bro. Yeah, that's what my friend. I used to like love playing that guy. My Switch collection. Right. Although Insert I will, floor. I will openly admit, um, for federal I, 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 I was a dirty, uh, dirty castle <laughs> <laughs> name. Call my girl Sloppenheimer the way. What was that guy? The Australian guy, the guy with the biker helmet. Because he was my other main. I love that the little robot. Mozzie, I'm yes. Need, I was a I, uh, Castle and Mozzie were my, my two names. Here, dog. I also and I got a medic. kill with that. I did not hear the word slop. <laughs> Yo, we talking about slop? Sorry, I'm rewinding. I want to. I got to. I got to hear about slop. I just hear the words. <laughs> No. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to have yeah. CPAP to regain my breath here, dog. <laughs> and I got a kill with that. I did not hear the word slop. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a kill with the Sloppenheimer special was satisfying, especially because the explosion from Lion's perspective was just a single frame of audio before he was vaporized to ash. <laughs> I will say, any game that has open VoIP makes me laugh hysterically purely because of the nonsense that can come. I mean, sure, you can get some really horrendous obscenities and like her awful people saying nasty things, but it's also the best opportunity for some hilarious shit, and I love that. <laughs> But it's still, I cannot tell you the amount of times question. I've been Why in, like, so escape from Tarkov or this. Why am I getting slammed every round? I died. Like, Rainbow Six and had some hysterical voice lines <laughs> no, did you turn it? sound No boards. way! No way! You just turned into Donald <laughs> Duck and did, like, a Sorry. head flop down the whole stairs. So, oh, no, I took Fallen. Kyle that, accidentally slammed that, his penis in the car door. That, yeah, remember, Twitch, open, I remember Team Fortress 2 from back in the day? a game that I have thousands of hours in, and I'm getting dominated in casual. <laughs> What the hell happened to me, Minecraft? Man, I need to play more of these games. I'll play TF2 and Rainbow Six again. We're not making it out of the nether with this one, Minecraft. I mean, I know, I know it's an act of self-flagellation to go back and play Rainbow Six in the current year. But sometimes you just sometimes you just have to put up with the pain and play a game for the sake of playing the game. And then give it a, a couple days and you remind yourself why you hated playing that game to begin with. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. You know you're going to hate it. But it's the process of getting to the point where you hate it that's important. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> Shut up, no. Even when I was starting to cook by using operators that dominate casual lobbies like Mira, my Twitch chat would still not give me- Yo, he's self-advertising! Oh, I am Rude. Just nasty. Don't advertise your Twitch stream in my Twitch stream. Nope. Disgusting! Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, no, she just burned my whole mag. Damn, oh, chat! The first... Okay. Yay or nay? Say yes or no in chat. Would you like to see a private video on my YouTube channel of me getting my very first ever ace in Rainbow Six? So uh, here you go, Russian Badger. You think you're good at you think you're good at uh, playing Rainbow Six? Watch this. Hold my beer. The old zip zap zoop. The old long drop. Who? She's gaming! She's gaming! She's a god gamer! <laughs> wow, that was uh, a lot of sidetracking. Uh -huh. Back on with the video! First thing that I Good see Lord. after I goof that up. 
dog shit beta male in <laughs> chat. Like, ah, yes, the average <laughs> Twitch chat. I felt so stuck. Oddly, mine's never like this. Hand, Much shit Twitch chats bully me, but they're never like that. I hadn't seen in forever, like Martin. The voice actor for Mozzie. Martin's yes. here. Let's Yo, fucking it's go. Yo, it's My boy. Martin, I saw you in game earlier. Your dude is just so ugly. They did you so <laughs> dirty. They did you so <laughs> dirty. Like, oh, no. That Martin, skin looks Martin, like he needs to go to like, list. Dashingly handsome. Martin in game. What did they do to you? What did Graduate they do to you? They hit with the ugly stick. Not gonna lie, Martin. You're fucking hideous, dog. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he looks like he does inappropriate things with inappropriate people. That's for right. Sure. Literally yeah. haven't talked to Martin yeah, in like CDX a year. Activity. Yo, Martin, your face is busted. <laughs> but on the other hand, I was still getting clapped after several hours of streaming. I was warmed up. I was ready to go. My aim was tight, but I still wasn't really feeling the Rainbow Six Siege magic that I remembered. And it was so frustrating, I found myself agreeing with my evil AI clone that Skulker made. This dude killed me in Siege, so I tanked his credit score and stole his catalytic converter. Ah, uh, yes, appropriate reaction for appropriate for things. The flow of time with Ego killing Chrono Zaza. <laughs> Listen, Maybe if you ever play games like this, having a crew like this behind gameplay, you just I'm makes any game enjoyable. Day, it doesn't matter whether it's the most player. aggravating game imaginable, the worst game on, on Steam, Thero, you can enjoy it with the right crew. A plant and a plant. So it's gotta be my teammates, right? Yo, what the f- What no, the f- Wait, are you kidding me? I made the joke earlier! Wouldn't it be fucking stupid to have Rick and Morty in Counter-Strike? Are you telling me there's a Rick and Morty skin in this game? Game? I have been made a fool. Oh my god. I'm in here. I'm in here. I'm in here. Get out of my fucking way, Buck. I'm gonna do it for real. I hate this. I hate everything about this. I got the plant. No. We're in there like Squidward. No, I mean the actual physical ficus. Yo, yo, Chad. I, I, I turned myself into a VTuber. I'm VTuber If you don't plant right now, dog. I don't have the diffuser. It's like Nero. This fire horn. going on? Are we at fucking McDonald's? Hey, can I get a pickup, dog? I. Just gonna say, if I'm ever in a Discord call, like I can hang, I, like I was at a party yesterday with 30, 40 people in a room and I was fine. But if you put me in a Discord call with that many people speaking, I get, I get overstimmed real quick. And I think it's just cause I can't see the people's faces. Like I love, I love being social. I love being around people, but I can only really do it in person. You stick me in a Discord call with more than three or four people talking, and I'm like, no, 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 fucking no. I don't. Is that weird? Am I weird for that? Cheers, love. No, you were bait. You were perfect bait. All right, I need a better call out. Look at this shit, dog. It was to your right. All right, let me let me let me go be a drone. Oh, he was right. Okay, dude, whenever you said, like, go plan, like, to someone else, I was like, I guess they got the bomb. And then I looked at my ass and was like, <laughs> Oh my was god, like, oh I just shit, saw a comment. Just treat it like, like phone sex. <laughs> Which means you've had phone sex. Dude, I would like to think that I have enough common sense to know that having phone sex is very inferior to just real sex. I'm just saying. Honey, is this my lunch? <laughs> is this, is this my lunch? Salad sandwich in the diffuser. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it. they have it. <laughs> they Shut have it. Oh my god. Oh my god, SpongeBob. The more I pointed the finger at my homies, the more it felt like I should be pointing it at myself. Siege is a team game, but losing individual gunfights and making poor decisions was 100% my fault. I know what it is. Sound. It's gotta be all that dipshit noise flowing into my ears, throwing off my game. I was about to say. Streaming a game is infinitely harder than just playing it in your own time. If you're trying to play something and you're trying to be good at it, streaming it is gonna lower your skill level by about 20 points. Because you're paying attention to your chat, you're paying attention to the stream, you're paying attention to uh, the people in call with you. You are not going to be on your A game when you're streaming a game. I, I found that out myself by playing Escape from Tarkov. Right. You know the worst part about quitting. Well, yes, and I do. I can't. Right. The lack of nicotine. <laughs> Why was he so loud? The average to chunker. <laughs> Sounds like reset my brain. I don't even remember it. <laughs> all the soundboard spam and all the screaming in Discord, like I stole somebody's Robux, drowning yeah. out my in-game yeah. audio, Holds so up. I can't hear enemy operators. That's got to be the, the missing piece right to my puzzle. That is all mm. Gary, and he's not. I didn't press anything, you goofy. I heard you. 
<laughs> no, you just put up with that stuff. That's the fun part of it. Just stop caring about being good, obviously. So I've enabled priority speaking to make all of you quiet. Uh, it's actually me. Yo, are you ringing? Are you ringing? No, I turned my shit off. You're so loud. Go are you ringing? You are so loud. You are so, and you shot me in the ass. You I didn't shoot you in the ass. Come to the door. I did. Shut up. I know what I'm doing. I really want to hang around these guys. It'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> this is like having like friends from college who just game with each other. And they've turned it into a YouTube video. You go free ass motherfucker. Yeah. It's like I break out. That's crazy. <laughs> I love when we fired. Let's fucking go. What's so good? When I know that you are just topping out your compressor, it's game over. There's blood in the water. The sharks that's are honestly on their what, way. Uh, it's over. It's that's over. honestly what, what gaming should be, right? <laughs> like, just fun. It's crazy how many people lose sight of just having fun with gaming. Why take it so seriously? Yeah, good if you want, but just don't lose the fun in it. That's why I refuse to play games competitively on stream unless it's just for the giggle of it. Awesome just to say, Cavalier is waifu, but my... Wait, was it? That one! Her! The one, the one with the phone! The one, the one with the spa- no, wait, no, wait, which, which is the one with the spandex? Okay, time for a Rainbow Six, uh, waifu tier list. Uh, who's the one of the green spandex pants? Ella. Ella, top tier waifu. And no one's gonna convince me otherwise. <laughs> We're sorry. <laughs> Although Cav is kind of- Like, Cav would totally be a dominatrix. Like, you looking at that kind of makeup and the way she treats people with that knife? Yeah, she's a dominatrix. <laughs> Ash? You Ash tier. And I got you an Intero, you goofy bitch. I got my own interrogation. Thank you for the reset, Cassie. It's like the three stooges, and I don't know who the third one is. Listen, Gary, I'm sorry for shouting. I watched a lot of Jinxie before we started to get into cut mindset. Same. Hand to God. Right hand on the Bible. That motherfucker's cheating. It's cheating. Okay, then. If Gary and Heavenly can max out their mics Jinxie style all game and still win, it's definitely not the sound. That's why you look like a oh my god, what is that? Well, oh, that's terrifying. Yo, chill, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I think Don't I'm tell me to chill. Obscu I mean, reasons. I'm hungover. You can't make me chill. The only way I'm getting trash. through this without a migraine trash. is by shouting to the the endorphins go through my body. Trash. It's not the operators. Not the gadgets. Not my aim. Not the sound. It might just be. Me, maybe this is my life now. Am I the Cuphead meme? Am I just bad at video games? Am I forever destined to lose to all these dipshit Zoomers to say words like Gat, Rizzler, and Phantom Tax? What the hell is Phantom Tax? What in go- like, I- Am I really that much of a millennial? Like, just when I think I'm catching up with lingo, like, I figured out what Riz meant, I figured out what Gat means. What the f is Phantom Tax? You know this this generation is doomed. I, I you know no 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 sorry this generation is doomed. I'm sorry guys. I'm ending it. I'm ending it. I'm ending the world. I'm ending the generation. It's over. <laughs> this can't be happening. That's not fucking possible. I gotta get to the bottom of this because if I don't, it's gonna eat me alive. To do that, I rewatched all of my streams from the previous three days to see if I could figure out what was wrong with me. And I started noticing these uh, rounds where I was randomly just that you're bad, noob. And didn't give a shit. Man, fuck this. I'm gonna go put some chicken fries. Oh. This game is just shoot bullets through a wall. This is so incredibly dumb. Too like, I had no easy. idea where he was. Shoot bullets through wall oh win game. The rounds where I was playing like a dumbass, sarcastically pre-firing every angle, refusing to drone, and taking incredible amounts of risk were the same rounds where I'd ball out. And Why are we not droning? Why? Got him, got him, wall bang. Damn, nice down. shot. Does nobody have ears? Oh my god. Just headshot, I'm cracked. I'm absolutely oh god, nuts. I'm you guys already know that I play video games <laughs> in dipshit mode to have fun. Not to win. I'm starting to think that this devil Same may care attitude actually led to both. Okay, stand still. Okay, go out of My favorite juice pose of the comic trap. What's your right. gadget? Anabolic steroids. Oh, okay, they're there for sure. Where are they? Going for another battle. Oh, I'm nuts. Oh I'm my fucking God. Re nuts. Like I know a how champ. to play Rainbow Six Siege. I don't know why, but the dumber I played. It, it, it's almost like you think about it less and you're not giving yourself so much anxiety about what you do and you don't overthink things. It's almost like having fun is the way that games should be play, played. No.
No. Couldn't be. The better I play. All this time I was playing Siege like a tactical shooter where I had to outsmart the enemy with my gadget and my game sense. I don't think I'd imagine it's a lot of because if he's been playing other games, God is ass. I'm a God. he's when probably adapted himself like to playing other simulator. games. The more you spray, the more you win. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just shitting. I even did a 10 man custom match. He's just rusty as all. silly mode into my brain. Five of my buddies against five of my other buddies with all 10 of us in the same Discord call. Everybody can hear everybody. So comms <laughs> don't matter, gadgets kind of suck, and it's just 10 clowns and a Chuck E. Cheese with automatic exactly, weapons. Exactly, just play for fun. I just pinged your ass you like that. You, that is 100% when you loosen up, Peeker's advantage. This is what I was talking about earlier, right? Like, the precedent of playing competitively is such a counterintuitive way of enjoying games. Like, it's all well and good wanting to be good at things, but eventually you're trying so hard to be good, you forget the point of gaming is to have fun. And I get that some people have fun by being competitive, but by playing competitively, you're more likely to make things be unfun and ruin your enjoyment of a game because you're trying too hard to be good. I mean, it's it's a mindset thing, I get, but I can't be the only person who gets weirded out when I see someone having a rage fit because they're not doing well in a, uh, not playing well at a game. Just, I don't know. Everyone has their, everyone has their, has their own expectations for what they want to get out of gaming. But it weirds me out when people get really, and I'm talking like, re like being upset that you lose is not a bad thing. That's that's totally understandable. I'm talking about the people who literally like break their controllers, throw shit across the table, swear at their mum, call their call their wife like then you know start beating up their wife because they lost at a video game. That's the kind of nonsense that's within your realm of control. You should never let yourself get that far to begin with. If it's not fun, it's not worth doing. <laughs> squeeze yeah. every oh, drop oh, of oh, ping oh, out oh, of that hold like, on, wait, hold on. Okay. Oh, I'm nuts? Oh, Treating Siege like PDM instead of a tactical shooter made it feel like a whole new game. Just the fact that every operator has hundreds of rounds to fire in a one-shot hey, headshot Lil Lil game Thank you suddenly felt absurd to me. Like, why wasn't I spraying random walls this entire time? Mickey, Calvin. Oh, I'm just I'm nuts. I'm just built different, Roboku. I'm just built different. Built different. Man, and when I, I heard just now. three words in the Discord call, it felt like my sleeper agent activation <laughs> phrase because it instantly made me remember what I was missing all along. I have autism. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all saved every time I hear that. Really? Every time I hear and that. And I actually do have it. <laughs> just like being for real. I, I'm going to be honest. I, I am on the spectrum in a severe manner. But I'm not sure if it's autism or whether it's just crippling ADHD or just inane amounts of stupid scuff stupidness. Maybe a mixture of all three. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, I mean, look. If you're if you're a, if you're a Twitch enjoyer, you are on the spectrum in some respect. <laughs> You'd have to be to put up with Twitch stupidity. <laughs> this is like the last thing I was expecting to hear during a round MVP. A what? I, 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 I it wasn't even saying. Did you catch the one moment everybody shut the fuck up? I don't know. Usually everyone talks over me. Oh, my face is hot. Bro owns the spectrum. <laughs> the missing piece of my puzzle oh, was I love that. You can stop worrying about grenades now. Once I start the thing is, it's fine to make fun of something in a jovial manner. I think, honestly, sometimes if it's like a serious subject, it's worth making something fun out of to have something positive come out of it. Within a reason, like things like that, if it's in the right space, the right context, with the right people, making fun of things like that adds a level of humor. I like making fun of myself because I am immensely neurodivergent and it's funny. <laughs> It's the intent that matters. As Jaeger, it changed the game. Oh my In case God. you don't play Siege, Jaeger is an operator canonically on the spectrum, according to Rainbow Six lore, and back in the day, he was an absolute monster. We're talking 90% pick rate, to the point where people insta-locked him so hard, he broke the fucking chart. Killer gadget, killer speed, killer weapon, he would peek you and kill you so fast, it made his gigantic pilot headgear actually make sense. He's even had his speed and weapon nerfed multiple times in multiple different ways, and he can still ball out. <laughs> She was actually what? Pretty. You do it too. You do it too. I dare you. Oh, I heard you on your drone, boy. I heard that shit. Yep, that's true. I mean, the thing is though, like every made me rediscover the character magic has the ability to be good, right? What am I doing? 
like just it's just have everything. gun it's shoot so gun right dumb. run around like a moron swing every corner spray every wall pre-fire anything and everything because you're the scariest operator ever to grace this game i'm just gonna juice myself and peek because i'm just a sigma male like that and i'm on a grind set sigma male yeah, grind yeah, set. Grind also, uh, P90 or well, superiority. Game, but it made me start this is why you play Doc. Like, even Doc is instantly based to just due to the fact that they use a P90. I was not really worried about it. Finally, last operator standing. Mole? Yeah. Oh my god. He's the go. He's the go. That guy's name is I like Fat Girls. <laughs> Yo, mood, dude, mood. I mean, I have so many bullets in that magazine. Like, just swing. Just swing and shoot. It's so just much swing. easier. This whole just game swing. is a different just game swing. if you just swing and shoot. I cannot believe that I suffered for three straight days of streaming all because I forgot about Drake. I mean, Jaeger. They must have amnesia. <laughs> they forgot that I'm him. I was having a blast. The homies were having a blast. And I had the confidence of a man open carrying in a cracker barrel. Though, hopefully not blowing my balls off. <laughs> I do not live in America. I do not know this fear. Probably a good thing, actually. In CTE, if it has tits or tires, I can make it squeak. Oh. <laughs> I need to meet this man right now. <laughs> My guy, that is a level of confidence. You have balls of steel or tiny balls walking around with a shirt like that. I was so hyped to have figured this shit out, I felt downright dangerous. Like I could take on anybody. I'm fighting one. the fucking shadow people in the 7-Eleven parking lot. I'm the one they wrote the Patriot Act about. I'm under federal investigation for crimes of Schedule 1 swag. Don't fuck with me. Mm -hmm. Man, I own seven mm -hmm. shell companies that sell gas station dick pills. <laughs> <laughs> Biden blast! Any better? Ubisoft went and did the unthinkable. Master Sheesh. Oh we, shit! They did, shish? didn't they? Sus. <laughs> Oh my god, why is that so funny? <laughs> That's right. They took the Master Chief out of the soda How and put many... him in the siege. How many this games has Master canon. Chief been put into now? Like, he is the most crossoverable character, maybe not including Rick and Morty. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just for that end screen, oh, you're getting Valor, oh, Master Chiefs, oh, oh, <laughs> Crabster Meat. <laughs> Who just said mac and cheese? <laughs> My question is, what's more cursed, Master Chief without the helmet or Master Chief without the armor? What the fuck? Oh am my I god, no! At? No! What is that? It looks like he's about to rock up and go, eh, bruv, you got a fucking Cortana, mate. You want to give me that Cortana so I'll go to the, go to Macca's and get me a, a pot, a, get me, get me a Big Mac, innit, bruv? Oh, well, you getting dizzy with me, mate. You getting dizzy. You want to fucking go? You want to fucking go, mate? You what? You what? You what? Spartan 117, more like Spartan your mum. <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> Try to find like a body and leave the helmet on. <laughs> Oh, oh yo, he kind of now, fresh. now he just looks like the average cosplayer at an anime convention. <laughs> yeah, this is my cosplay, actually. So, not gonna lie, this is way better than I thought it would be. Mustard looks beef being fresh. canonically British and more specifically Scottish in this universe makes it feel like you squatted up with Shrek. Don't get on an ogre's bad side. I felt so bad Freedom! for the fish, because if I was a regular ass human operator going up against a seven foot tall genetically augmented super soldier weighing a thousand pounds, <laughs> I too would be terrified. <laughs> yeah, I, I found the enemy. It's it's me. It's you know, me, you know this, is, uh, this is the definition of skins equal skill. If you are I using the mask chief armor clearly you are going to do. win um, what is the best y'all have ever thought of maybe this is just <laughs> yes i got her it worked oh my god look at this i wanted to just walk up to her with the master chief helmet poking around the corner and it worked Perfectly. Just to be lore accurate, I was extremely careless with my grenade throws and treated all my teammates as expendable. No, I won't let you do that to me. Y'all yeet. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, oh, that's me! <laughs> I said oh no, you should have known. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh no, I, I this. died. Let me you cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Look at that cheeky, like, Let top shelf ball. Oh, no. oh, no. uh, I don't yes, think the Ubisoft could have picked a better operator for hamster cheeks. Putting a hammer in his hands was absolutely the right <laughs> choice. Oh, gonna smash! Okay. Master Chief! Master Chief with a sledgehammer just completely oh, you're hit you're different. Of metal. You tanked that so hard. Like, if Master Chief and the Halo franchise had a hammer, the Covenant would have never known what hit them. You're nuts! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I need to! Fuck yeah! We got yes. him, baby! 
And when beautiful. I combined my newfound Absolutely siege knowledge beautiful. and pre-firing any possible angle ever to exist in the universe, like I'm Jaeger. Hi, JF. That's great. With uh, the most I'm powerful hungover. character ever doing? to be put in a soda bottle? Oh, for Pete's sake. I can proudly say that my return to Rainbow Six Siege truly felt like finishing the fight. Hell yeah. Master Chief, Why you mind not? telling me what you're doing in Rainbow Six? Sir, defusing this bomb. Master Chief can do it. Master Chief, he can. We are and so fucking back. Master Chief on a casual Friday, too. Check him out. We are so fucking back. Jesus. We are so fucking back. You doubted the fit the entire time. It's so fresh. That's goofy. Oh and I love God. it. I like box logos. Box That's oh all boy. Rainbow Six I've got for now, but I promise to come back if Gooeysoft adds some more dumb shit, like Charles Entertainment Cheese or Frederick Fazbear. <laughs> Damn. When you enter into a Chuck E. Cheese without a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop being so unhinged, you pup. Like you so oh my much. gosh. Okay. You know what? If there are, if if there are, I, I'd like to take a moment to take a quote from our Lord and Savior, the Scout from Team Forty Two. The sun shines, grass grows, and brother. Russian Badger makes some good shit. This is some prime slop for the for the React channel.